Hello, this is Michael Emery with Emory EPS Internet Marketing, and I'm doing some keyword research related to the wine industry, and right now we're focusing on phrases that are related to Chardonnay. So we can see here that Chardonnay is getting uh, 40,000 searches, and this is actually targeted just within the USA. If it's global, it's going to be a lot more. If it's uh, based upon other countries, it's probably going to be a lot less, just depending upon the, uh, the population of a certain country. But we can see here is the keyword phrase Chardonnay, simply Chardonnay. 40,500 searches per month. And this is a relevant term for branding. Now it may not be a buying term, but it's definitely a strong term for branding. So let's say that you're you're a wine producer, but you're not in the top 10 uh, wine producers of Chardonnay. This could be a very powerful way to position your brand, position your website, and start to gather that, that search traffic that's coming through for this specific keyword phrase. Now I wanna show you some um, some other keyword phrases here that'll be related to Chardonnay, but will be educational terms or will also be um, buying phrases. So we can see Chardonnay wine. It's um, it's you know a little bit more specific just because it has wine there, but at the same time, it's not necessarily a strong branding or a strong buying keyword phrase, but it is a good branding phrase. So going down here, we can see another variation, unoaked Chardonnay. And here's one, best Chardonnay. So a person that's looking for best Chardonnay, they're most likely already a, an enthusiast of the Chardonnay wine, and they're looking for um, they're looking for brands that they haven't had a chance to to try yet. So this is going to be a, a very good way to get in front of um, people that are interested in buying this brand. And this this might even be um, you know restaurants or wine bars or bars you know other variations of that locations where they're they're buying uh, wholesale because they've got a large quantity of, of wine that they want to sell so this could be a very solid keyword phrase to position your website for now here's another one where we got an edu we've, we've got an educational um, keyword phrase here calories in Chardonnay well, somebody who's looking at that, they probably like to drink Chardonnay, but they're interested in either losing well, weight or uh, maintaining their fitness. And so it's it's interesting to them, you know, to understand, well, how many calories does a glass of Chardonnay have? This could be something where you create a, an article about this and it's on your website and it drives traffic, but you also use it to brand so you can strengthen your branding with it, your brand recognition. And then you can also use it as a buying keyword phrase where you can um, upsell. You can sell people on the, uh, the specific Chardonnay that your, your organization is producing. So we can see some of these here. Um, you know, there's some, some other brands that are coming up. Uh, there's something, you know, obviously that's not related, but uh, is Chardonnay dry? That's another educational term. What is Chardonnay? I want to look down through these options here. Here's another one. This is really good. Chardonnay brands. I would say that the, the person who's looking for this is looking to buy, or they're, they're definitely doing some research. This is another educational one. When you see versus, so people are looking to do comparisons. It's a great opportunity to educate and to share why your specific uh, product is different from the competition. And just going down here a little bit further, we can see that the traffic is in this column right here. So these are searches per month, and this is just within the USA. And let's see, Chardonnay sweet or dry. So we're seeing some of these. Here's one, good Chardonnay. That could be a that could be a strong uh, buying keyword phrase. So essentially, what I've my my intention here is to show you some of the uh, the the traffic and the searches, the keyword phrases that people are searching for on the internet. People confess everything to Google. So this is the way that we get you know, information and, and data regarding what people are interested in, where they're going, what they're looking for. And this is a powerful way to position your brand and position your products so that you start to show up and create awareness and then also look to convert. And so this is a, this is a very powerful way. And, and what could be done here also, we're not seeing this for this specific term, but we could see Chardonnay and then California, or Chardonnay, um, perhaps Chile, Chardonnay, New Zealand, Australia. There's a lot of different uh, keyword combinations that are going to drive different traffic. And you don't have to necessarily focus your website on the, uh, the actual geographic location of your business. You could take your business and 
look at targeting a, a larger market by looking at hijacking some of the keyword phrases that people are searching for in a larger marketplace or an international market while you still have a, a product that's you know available, available globally. So I hope this has been insightful. I'd love to have the opportunity to speak with the individual that's in charge of internet marketing at your organization and outline some SEO plans and, and strategies that could be used and look at what could be done to reinforce or to strengthen your existing branding and also drive more buying traffic or look at creating conversion funnels that, uh, that you can use to, to enhance the, the way that your traffic is arriving at your website and then what happens next. How do you capture those leads and convert them into clients, uh, customers, uh, not only just customers, but long-term high quality raving clients. So definitely thank you for your time and uh, we'll be in touch.